Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make this uh, very cute book marker. It's a teacup with a tea bag. Uh, I hope you get your materials ready. So I'm going to use this 1.75 millimeters crochet hook. But I would advise you to use a smaller one if you want to make a smaller cap and smaller tea bag. You can use uh, maybe one millimeters. And also, I'm going to use a uh, cotton yarn. So uh, you can also use a thin uh, yarn if you want a smaller cap and a smaller tea bag okay so get your materials ready and let's get started okay so we're going to start by making the tea or coffee and we're going to do uh, to do with this the brown yarn so we'll start with the magic ring and then we'll do four single crochets into the magic ring so one two three and four and then i'll pull my yarn okay and then now we'll do a chain two so chain one two and then we'll turn on this other side okay so now in the second row we'll start by doing one half double crochet so we'll do half double crochet Sorry. Okay, and then next we'll increase in the next two stitches. So we'll increase and increase also in the next stitch. Okay, and then after that we'll do one half double crochet in the last stitch. And then we'll do a chain two and turn. So chain one, two and turn. Okay, so now in the third row we are going to start by doing one half double crochet so one half double crochet okay and then we'll increase in the next stitch okay and then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet and then single crochet in the next stitch and then we'll increase in the next stitch okay and then we'll do half double crochet in the last stitch so half double crochet and then we'll do a chain two one two and turn okay so now in the fourth row we'll start by doing one half double crochet okay 
okay and then we'll do single crochet then increase and we'll repeat that three times so we'll do single crochet and increase and repeat again single crochet and increase and again one more time single crochet and increase okay and then again now in the last stitch we'll do one half double crochet so half double crochet then we'll do chain two and turn so now in the fifth row we are going to start by doing half double crochet and then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet and single crochet Okay, and then we'll increase in the next stitch. So increase. And then we'll do single crochet in the next three stitches. So single crochet one, two, and single crochet three. Okay, and then we'll increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches. So single crochet and single crochet. Okay, and then we'll do one half double crochet in the last stitch. So half double crochet and then we'll do a chain two one two and turn okay so now in the sixth row we'll start by doing one half double crochet okay and then we'll increase in the next stitch And then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so single crochet one two three and four and then we'll increase in the next stitch and then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so single crochet one two three four and then increase in the next stitch then we'll do one half double crochet in the last stitch then we'll do chain two one two and turn okay so now in the seventh row which is the last row of uh this tea or coffee we're going to do one half double crochet and then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches so single crochet one and another single crochet and then we'll increase in the next stitch and then we'll do single crochet in the next eight stitches so single crochet one two three four five six seven 
and 8. And then we'll increase in the next stitch. And then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches. So single crochet one, single crochet two, and then we'll do half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we'll do chain one and cut off the yarn. And fast enough. Okay, so now after we are done with this now we're going to make another one like this the same way using the white color yarn or the main color yarn okay so make another one exactly the same way we did with this and then we'll join the two together but do not cut off the yarn in the white color that you're going to make okay so let's do that and then we'll join the two together Okay, so now we are going to join the two together. You can see I finished the white one also and I didn't cut the yarn. So I'm just going to take this one, the brown yarn and the right side up. I'm just going to put it like that. Okay, so now let's join the two together and we'll start by doing half double crochet. So going in both. We'll do half double crochet. Okay, and then we'll do uh, three single crochet, then increase, and we'll repeat that three times. Okay, so we'll do single crochet, one single crochet, two and single crochet three then increase in the next stitch and we'll repeat that again so three single crochets one two three and increase in the next stitch and repeat again three single crochets and increase in the next stitch Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the next four stitches so single crochet one two three and four Okay, and then we'll do half double crochet in the last stitch. So we'll do half double crochet. And we'll do a chain two, one, two, and turn. So you can see this is how it looks like. Okay, so now in this uh, in this row, which is the ninth row, we are going to start by doing half double crochet. Okay, so we'll do half double crochet, and then we'll increase in the next stitch. So increase. And then we'll do 17 single crochet so we'll do single crochet until we have the last stitch left here so we'll continue and do single crochet one two three 
four and continue until you have 17 single crochets okay so after you have 17 single crochets in the next stitch we are going to increase Okay, and then we are going to do one half double crochet in the last stitch. And then we'll do a chain one. So now here we are not going to turn. We are going to continue working along the sides like this. Okay, so here we are going to start by doing a half double crochet okay at the very edge so we're going to do half double crochet here okay and then from here to here we are going to do nine single crochets so we'll do single crochet one on both sides two three four five Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so we have nine single crochets, and then from here. At point B we are going to do two single crochet so here and here so we'll do single crochet and we'll do another single crochet over here okay and then at that we are from here to here again we are going to do nine single crochets okay so we'll do single crochet it's a little bit difficult one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay so and then here we are going to do half double crochet at this point so we're just going to come here and do half double crochet and then we'll do a chain one and turn Okay, so this is how it looks like so far okay so now um, so from here we are going to start making the lower part of the cup and we are going to start by decreasing okay so we'll decrease
and then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches so single crochet one two three four five okay and then we are going to increase in the next stitch so increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next six stitches so single crochet one two three four five and six okay and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then we'll do single crochet in the next five stitches so one two three four and five okay and then in the remaining two stitches we are going to decrease so decrease And then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the top row we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease and then we'll do nine single crochets so single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase And then we'll do single crochet in the next eight stitches so single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then we'll decrease so decrease and then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 13th row we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease and then we'll do 17 single crochets so single crochet one two three four and continue until you have 17 single crochets okay so after the 17 single crochets we are then going to decrease And then we'll do a chain one and turn so now in the 14th row we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do four single crochets so single crochet one two three and four and then we're going to increase then we'll do five single crochets 
So single crochet one, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll increase. Then we'll do four single crochets. So single crochet one, two, three, and four. Then we'll decrease and do chain one and turn. Okay, so now in the 15th row, we are going to start by decreasing. Then we'll do seven single crochets. So single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven okay and then we are going to increase and then do again seven single crochets so single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay and then we are going to increase in the next stitch so increase then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 16th row we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease and then we'll do four single crochets so single crochet one two three and four and then we'll increase and then again do four single crochets so one, two, three, and four, and then increase again and do four single crochets one, two. three and four and then we'll decrease do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 17th row we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do seven single crochets so single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay and then we'll increase in the next stitch then do six single crochets so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then decrease, do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in the 18th row, we are going to start by decreasing. So we'll decrease and then do 13 single crochets. 
so single crochet one two three four and continue until you have 13 single crochets okay so after the 13 single crochets we are going to decrease then we'll do a chain one and turn okay so now in the 19th row we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do two single crochets so single crochet one and single crochet two and then we'll increase again And then we'll do five single crochets so single crochet one two three four and five okay and then we'll increase in the next stitch Then we'll do single crochet in the next two stitches. So single crochet one, single crochet two. Then we'll decrease. Do a chain one and turn. Okay, so now in the 20th row, we are going to start by decreasing. Then we'll do five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we'll increase and then do again five single crochets. So one, two, three four five and then we'll decrease like that okay so now we're not going to turn we're going to make the handle and for the handle we are going to do a chain uh, 14 okay so we'll do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen and then we're going to come up here around this point and slip stitch So you want it a little bit loose just going to slip stitch over here as you can see no so that's too high just a little bit lower let's see maybe around here Yeah. Like that. Okay, so I'm just going to do a chain one. So that I turn and walk from this other side so I'm just going to start by doing three single crochets so I'll do single crochet 
One. Two. Three. Okay, and I'll work until I have nine single crochet. Sorry, not three, nine. So three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Okay, like that. And then I'll I'll do again uh I'll increase three times. So I'll increase and increase again. And increase again. Okay, and then I'll do single crochet in the remaining two stitches. So I'll do single crochet over here in this chain and the next chain. Like that. As you can see okay and then now to finish up we are just going to do single crochet all the way around until here just to even up the cup so I'm just going to continue and do single crochet and continue doing single crochet all along the edges until you get here Okay, so now to finish up the cup, I'm just going to come here, slip stitch. Okay, so slip stitch. And cut off the yarn. Then we're going to do the finish up. So that's how our cup looks like. So I'm just going to finish it off there. Okay, so if you want a smaller cup, you can use a thin yarn and um, a thin crochet hook or a much smaller crochet hook, maybe one millimeters. And then, so now let's make the tea bag. Okay, so now for the tea bag, we are going to start by doing a chain 10 so we'll do chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to do nine single crochets until the end so we're going to skip this and start here. So we'll do single crochet. And single crochet. Single crochet. And continue all the way to the end. Okay, so when we get to the end, we are going to do a chain one and turn. Okay, so in this row, which is the second row, until the eighth row, 
we are going to do again single crochets all the way to the end so you'll have a total of nine rows uh, nine stitches in each row okay so do single crochets in the second row and then do a chain one and turn until you get to the eighth row always remember to do a chain one at the end so i'll see you when you're done with the eighth row so that we do the ninth row together Okay, so after we are done with the eighth row, this is how our little tea bag looks like. So I'm just going to do a chain one and turn. So now in the ninth row, we are going to start by decreasing. Okay, and then we'll do five single crochets. So single crochet one, two. two three four and five and then we are going to decrease do a chain one and turn so now in the tenth row we are going to start again by decreasing and then we'll do three single crochets so single crochet one two and three and then we're going to decrease do a chain one again and turn so now in the 11th row we are going to do a decrease and then we'll do a single crochet then we'll decrease again like that okay so now here we are going to even all the sides together okay so we are going up here at the corner we are going to do two single crochets so in the corner we just do two single crochets and then we'll do single crochets all the way around Okay, so do single crochet when you get here at the corner you're going to increase then do single crochets increase again at the corner and then we'll do single crochets until we get here at the bottom where we started okay so when we're done doing single crochets all the way around when we get here at the center we're going to do a chain 70 okay so seven zero so we're going to do chain one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and continue until you have 70 chains okay so now um i've decided to shorten my chain so uh, because it will be too long so I've just done a chain 60 as you can see so uh, it's gonna be like that so you can do more or a shorter length if you want according to your desired length so after we're done with that now starting in the second chain from the hook we are going to do single crochets all the way across until here okay so we're just going to continue and do single crochets and do single crochet again single crochet and 
single crochet and continue doing single crochets all the way until here okay so guys as you can see I already finished doing all the single crochets until here so when you get here you're just going to slip stitch here on the tea bag and cut off the yarn and do the finishing okay and then I attach uh, the tea bag here on top of the cup as you can see so I just use an, a needle and yarn to attach it so this is how it looks like and this is how it looks like when it's complete guys as you can see i'm just going to be placing it like that on the book or also you can make it a little bit shorter if you want to okay so guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and check out my other videos also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe until next time bye